Hello there and welcome to this par four first hole. Let's have a bit of fun here, huh? All right, it's KS Man here, getting in another round at one of the many of the fantastic new courses we've just recently got in on the Pro T servers with the uh, course sync. This is the Belfry, the Brabazon uh, by Han. Um, got a few ghost balls up there. This is my first time playing it. So, gotta love that. I'm, one of the ghost balls I'm going up against is Mama's Got a D-Day Party. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how I can compare again, something like that. I certainly don't have anywhere near as cool as the name. Windy out there. Heading towards the beach here, not the good kind. Yeah, this is ugly. Uh, give it a good smack. Let's just see if we can get some distance on this. Gonna go nine iron here. Pretty sure I can carry Get it over that lip. Famous last words. Oh, that was bad. Nice swing. That was a bit underwhelming, but you're out of the sand, so good stuff. Come on, it's a green regulation for a fairway bunker, John. And for the bird. Right back into the sun. God. A little bit breaking to the left, sliding uphill. 33 feet uphill 10. Try to get this stuck 40 feet. No, I don't think I have enough. Go, go, go. I think that's a gimme. Nice way to start things out with a par. Okay, let's send this little ball on its way. I'll be honest, I'm not too familiar with uh, the Belfry in either real life or video game golf. I know a lot of people love the course, so I've heard very, very good things about the uh, recreation work that Han did. No good. Pretty deep rough here. Uh, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. All right, we're gonna go nine iron once again. Trying to see how it leaves. I'd probably like to play it a little more to the right but I'm just a little worried about nicking those leaves up there, so I'm gonna, gonna aim here and... Nice.
33 feet to the hole here. Nine footer here, I think. I think you can do this. Oh, are you kidding? No way. That's got to fall in. Where's the wind? Can I blow on it? One over for the round. Okay, third hole coming up. Much flatter course thus far than what I've been playing with late. Trying to get the GCQ to recognize the ball. Got it. Looks like you're gonna hit some sand here. It's not getting the right left draw that I'm used to on those. Five iron. Try and knock it out. Use myself probably about 120 or so. 120 would look like maybe even 130 for the next shot. Yeah, we're in the fairway out of that bunker. I'd say it's about 120 yards or so to the pin from here. Well, looks like this may be in the deep stuff. I keep looking at my watch. I have a smart watch where I can see my emails. It's getting a lot of work emails. Come on, guys. Don't you know I'm on the course? Just a little bit thin, took off a little too much of the backspin. 
All right, 14 feet to the hole. Sitting at two over for the round. Really feel like I gave up. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. Feel like I gave two strokes away right there on those last two bogeys. This one's looking good. Not a bad shot straight into the wings. So we have about 165 yards to go still. Nine miles per hour wind. It's gonna go, uh, gonna go six iron on this one. There was no wind. I would go seven. Could be in the rough here. Really got all of that one. GC2 says 169, which is just about as far as I can carry a six iron. See if we can save par here. That would be nice. Come on, don't maybe get three straight strokes away. Nine feet, let's make a putt. Solid par. Well done. Okay, so that'll keep you at two over for the round. Keep an eye on that wind could come into play on this hole. As long as I don't hit a snap hook, that wind should, that wind should not come into play for me. Or really anybody. Pretty deep stuff here. Um, give it a good hack. Let's put it in the right direction. I hit seven iron here. Just hope to keep it underneath that tree.
Doesn't look like it's on the fairway, but it's all right. Ten footer here. I think this can go. Three over for the round. All right, let's let her rip. Wow, this feels like a familiar driving hole. I feel like I've seen this from pictures. This is an intimidating one. Look at that. I like to look at that bridge over there. Nice, should be in the fairway. I carried so far because of the uh, wind. I think I... Okay. All right, looking at 150 yards ish. I'm going to go nine iron here. Got some wind helping. I get it. I'm going to take it out here and try and draw it in. I don't want to come up just a little short and then draw it in the water. No, and I did come up short. Hey, right. Well, looks like this may be in the deep stuff. Nice. Ooh. And that's why I am so far right. And I got in all of it when it matters. But, got it just a little fat. Very easy to do that. The uh, turf here. 17 yards. Putting from around 16 feet out. The people have seen a lot of my other videos, I typically can get those within six foot gimme distance. I'm actually hitting the ball better than I normally do, but I'm not scoring as well because of this uh, short game issues I'm having. 16 feet down four. Nice pot. Eight 
And that'll keep you at three over for the round. Part three comes up. Only part three on okay, this is hole number seven on the tee. Let's do this. We're gonna go eight iron on this one. Normally for me carries when I get it about 145 to 150. Should play well. A little short, but should be good. Nope. I was wrong. PC2 said 144 on that. I cannot Let's see if we can save par on this putt. I am. The ones I need to roll a little bit are pulling up and the ones that I need to check keep rolling. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Wow. Ooh. That was a bad double. Sitting at five over for the round. That was a really bad double. And we find ourselves on the eighth tee. Looking good so far. Okay, uh, well you ended up in the rough. Sorry to get your hopes up there. You are deep in the rough. Be careful, be careful with the shot. What is that up there? Is that just not another lake? Just short, is it? Oh, a little ravine. Straight into the wind. I can't lay up. I had originally pulled a four iron hybrid, figuring I'd kind of run it up there, but I need a longer carry into the swing, so I just grab my four wood. Just definitely a more uncertain club for me. No, I didn't get it. That could be trouble. Could be in the rough here.
No, that's gonna have to go. Oh my god. Ten footer here, this is makeable. Solid par, well done. Okay, so that'll keep you at five over for the round. Okay, here we go. Well, I guess you can't hit all the fairways. Okay, you're kind of in some deep stuff. This is the danger zone. Now that was a swing. Back in the saddle here. Saddle being fairway. Nice stuff. Oh, look at this top green. Three tier green. This one's looking dialed in. I could just, just push it and it off. To save par. I could even really push it with more of the uh, wind on that. And after nine, you're not doing too bad. I think you could still maybe take it up a notch through the back nine, though. Oh, I, I know this hole. Yeah, I don't want to hit a full driver, I wouldn't. I carry my driver about 220 right there. Uh, not be that bad. As long as I don't push it way right, let's go back to like that. 
five iron would leave me. Yeah, that's the play. Alright, we're gonna hit five iron here. Oh no! My god! I crushed the ground on that one. Pretty deep rough here. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Alright, I have to carry this. Get on the green. Out of the rough, I'm going to go three iron hybrid on this one. Doesn't look like it's on the fairway, but it's all right. Everyone ends up in the beach from time to time. Okay, so that'll keep you at six over for the round. Well, uh, just letting you know it's a bit windy out there, so keep that in mind as you go on to the tee. Bit more of an unconventional par on the last one, but still a par nonetheless. Ooh, no good. Debating between a six iron and a seven. I think I'm gonna go seven. No, you know what? I would rather be long. Get up that hill on the green. I didn't get it. Still run up there. Well, at least you're out of the sand. Okay, 35 feet here. Uh, 35 down 10, probably one inch is about 20 to 22 feet. Let it filter down to the hole. Keep going, keep going. I don't think that's a gimme. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Oh, at that 
Bible talk. Seven over for the round. Okay, and we find ourselves now on the 12th hole. Let's see what you can do. I'm gonna go five iron here and really hope that I get it. I get this one fat. I'm in trouble. I guess I'll be happy with that. I want to see that one again. Ooh. Nah. Yeah. Ten footer here. I think this can go. Eight over for the round. All right, next stop, let's uh, let's hope for some fairway. This really is one of those rounds. If my chipping and pitching was a little better, I could easily be shooting three or four over. It's looking good. Thank you, wins. I'd say around 105 yards or so to the pin here. Go gap wedge. Really feel like on the between the draw and the uh, the wind it takes it way left. 
probably even should be playing it further off to the right. Nice. Okay, for the birdie. Thirty down seven. Okay, so that's gonna keep you at eight over for the round. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. Into the wind, we're gonna go six iron. Whoops. Okay, this is very deep in the rough. So you might wanna might wanna swap that club. Heading towards the beach here, not the good kind. Not too hard, I mean, not even close. Way short, huh? Decent little, decent little sand shot there, nice. All right, 13 footer here. Sitting at 10 over for the round. Coming off the dreaded double bogey on that last hole. Um, let's see if we can start fresh here. Get something better. Not sure where my T went. Great contact. Uh, that's one of those low backspin drives that the game penalizes. Trying to get that worked out. Wasn't a good hit, but it wasn't that bad.
I have to go forward here to make sure that we get over that ravine. Try and thread the needle, keeping it low. Nice. No, I did not try to go right of that tree. I don't want it to go left. high and try and stop it. Sitting at 11 over for the round. Keep an eye on that wind could come into play on this hole. This is a beauty. All right, you're looking at around 175 yards shot here. On five iron. And I'm dead. Great contact, nice swing. Completely lost something on my swing. Nailing so many of these straight into the ground. This one's a beauty. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Nice putt, you're in the hole. And that'll keep you at 11 over for the round. 
coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. Knock out a five iron. Try not to smash the thing to the ground. Well, looks like this may be in the deep stuff. Oh, I'm getting frustrated. Nice job, a uh, decent distance you got out of that sand. Looks like about 100 yards to the pin here. Solid swing. Nice little approach shot. Nine footer here. Sitting at 12 over for the round. Not sure where my key went up there. Hole number 18. We're already at 18. Yeah, that's hole number 18. I think you're heading into the cabbage on this one. Pretty deep stuff here. Um, give it a good hack. Let's put it in the right direction. Oh, God, and we're into heavy rain. 
I've got to carry this. I can't do that with the wings. Pitching ways, I guess. Ah, that's a shame. I should have scouted out my drive a little better. Any more left, of course, that means get in taking on the water. All right, and we are back in the fairway. Good to see. All right, we're right around 125 yards out. Go nine iron on this one. Could be in the rough here. Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight footer. Yeah, it's like the fifth or sixth time that I've come up just a couple of feet short from the gimme it really makes you realize how much those things help to score. Oh. All right, 14 over par when it's all said and done today. Thanks for the round. That was a pretty fun little time. We'll catch you next time. Well, there we go, 86. Definitely felt to me like I should have put off the worst, like an 80 or an 81. But uh, really nice course, really fun course. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know the Belfry that well or really at all, but uh, definitely feels to me like uh, like kind of nailed it. So, uh, well, thanks for watching. Had a good time. Hope you guys did too. And talk to you soon or talk to you next time.